The birth of stars is unique and exciting, but it doesn't happen in a moment. The transformation of a molecular cloud into a luminary takes time and, importantly, suitable conditions for this. These dense regions with stars inside look like dark silhouettes against the background of the rest of the ionized nebula. Such formations are known as Bach globules, in honor of astronomer Bart Bach. Back in 1947, a researcher hypothesized that these clouds were like insect cocoons. And he wasn't wrong. Decades later, we now know that Boca globals are dense clusters of cold gas and dust living in the interstellar medium. Hiding in the shadow of huge molecular clouds, these seemingly harmless and isolated formations play a key role in the birth of stars. Yes, inside these dark cocoons, the smallest gravitational inhomogeneities gradually accumulate matter, increasing their mass and gravitational attraction. Over time, the particles of matter combine into dense nuclei that contract under the influence of their own gravity. As the infallible force of gravity condenses matter, a nuclear chain reaction begins as a result of an increase in temperature and pressure in the center of the nucleus. This explosive phenomenon, known as nuclear fusion, releases a staggering amount of energy and marks the birth of a new star. Today we know that the Boca globals are one of the coldest gas formations. Their temperature, determined by the radio emission of molecules, does not exceed an average of 250 degrees Celsius below zero. The bulk of the gas is a mixture of molecular hydrogen and helium. The concentration of atoms and molecules in these formations is higher than in ordinary clouds of interstellar gas. It increases towards the center and averages several thousand molecules per cubic centimeter. The mass of dust is about a hundred times less than the mass of gas. But it is the dust that provides the opacity of the globules, because of which they are visible as dark spots. Due to the low temperature in the most massive globules, the process of gravitational condensation of matter leading to star formation becomes possible. This is confirmed by the discovery of sources of infrared radiation in the bowels of formations. The appearance of infrared sources is associated with the heating of dust by the radiation of one or more born stars, the visible light of which does not penetrate through the dust. The high density is justified by the fact that substances such as carbon and hydrogen, under the influence of low temperatures, begin to combine into molecules from individual atoms. Thus, the fusion of a denser substance into molecules is also the cause of high density. These cosmic clouds are almost completely dark and unsightly even for the most modern optical instruments, which is their most famous characteristic feature. At the moment, no less than 349 dark nebulae have been discovered. The most famous examples of them are the Horsehead Nebula, the Coal Sack, the Snake, Fragments of the Eagle Nebula and the Bernard 68 Molecular Cloud. Most of the globals have been discovered and studied by astronomers using modern telescopes, in particular the Hubble Orbital Telescope. We propose to consider some of them in more detail, for example, detailed images of the area of the AISI 2944 or a running chicken. Where he is running to and why is truly unknown. The mysterious region is located in the constellation Centauri, at a distance of about 6,000 light years. Here we observe dense, opaque dust clouds that stand out clearly against the background of bright stars. They are filled with gas and dust, which is illuminated and heated by the radiation of the stars of the scattered cluster. These stars are much hotter and more massive than our Sun. 
but in the constellation Cepheus, located at a distance of about 2,000 light-years from us, in the emission nebula I see 1396 globules of an even more unusual shape. Its apparent size is more than 10 times the diameter of the full moon. Among the intriguing dark figures in this area, the Elephant Trunk Nebula looks not only unusual, but even sinister. However, the only real monster here is a bright, young and rather aggressive star. The high-energy light emitted by this star separates the dust in a dark comet-like region. The wind jets from the particles ejected by this star also repel the surrounding gas and dust. And there are many other, smaller, irregularly shaped globules in the entire emission nebula, which are likely to be destroyed over time. Consider the following cosmic formation. This is another comet-like globala located in the region of star formation known as CJ4 in the constellation Corma, 1300 light-years away from us. The coma-like globala is named because its shape is similar to the shape of a comet or a giant space worm from a dune. A dense head formed of gas and dust, with a diameter of about 1.5 light-years and an elongated faint tail about 8 light-years in length, pointing away from the supernova remnant. Inside are bright young stars, which apparently caused the destruction of the formation. And another interesting place in space, named by NBC 281, or Pac-Man for short, because of its shape, which is visible in the image with a large field of view. The large cosmic head is located at a distance of about 10,000 light-years in the constellation Cassiopeia and includes a small scattered cluster of stars, a glowing reddish emission nebula, extended areas of dust and dense gas dust formations. The next contender with an unusual shape. This is the scattered star cluster AIC 1590 in the central region, which has formed over the past few million years. The brightest star in this cluster is a multiple system. Its radiation ionizes the gas in the nebula, and therefore acquires a reddish glow. Dark globals of the side, clearly visible against the background of a bright nebula. Sometimes you can see objects coming from the globals themselves, called herbigero. These are small areas of nebulae associated with young stars. They are formed when the gas ejected by these stars interacts with nearby clouds of gas and dust at speeds of several hundred kilometers per second. Herbigero objects characteristic of star formation regions. Sometimes they are also observed near single stars, elongated along the axis of rotation of the latter. These are temporary formations, the maximum duration of which is only a few thousand years. The images taken even at relatively small intervals show their high rate of penetration into interstellar clouds of gas far from the parent star. One of the most exciting such objects is located in the famous Orion Nebula. In this photo, obtained by adding three images at different wavelengths, the Waterfall Nebula or HH-222 is visible, a yellow-green stripe running down from the upper left corner. It is located in the giant gas field cloud of Orion at a distance of about 1,500 light-years from us. And the length of the waterfall is about 10 light-years. Yes, space is full of mysteries. In conclusion, summing up, it can be noted that the study of globals and their role in the birth of stars is of great importance for our desire to understand the cosmos.